If you are new, thank you for joining. My name is Lisa. Welcome to the Polish Snail family. If you're returning, thank you. So I have, I'm a little late with this. No excuses, just got a lot going on, trying to prepare something new. So I, this released on the 4th of April. It is the Green Gaia or Gaia collection. With ever blooming flower and every creature's call, Madame Glam joyously invites you to cherish Earth's day's call. Wander through a garden of pastel delights where colors bloom substainly and effortlessly chic. In honor of Earth Day, we proudly unveil Green Gaia or Gaia where the magic of earth meets the allure of pastels in a collection unlike any other. Discover the eight new ethereal soak-off gel polishes that encapsulate an, the essence of our precious planet, each hue on ode to the wonders of nature. As a conscious brand, we are crafting products that honor both our commitment to beauty and our responsibility to the planet. With a vegan, cruelty-free, 21-free, palm oil-free formula, every stroke of color is as gentle on the earth as it is on your nails. Inspired by the boundless beauty of landscapes, from the pastel hues of verdant forests and azure oceans to the pastel fiery embrace of sunsets and sunrises, each shade tells a story of Mother Earth's memorizing tapestry. So they are vegan, like it says, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 formula free. I'm pretty sure they were Hema free as well, it says on the bottle there, that's what I thought. So, my wonderful girl, she knows who she is. She's fantastic. She let me pick five. So I picked the following. There we go. So first I picked the Soak Off Top Coat called Ocean Pearl. Oh, I should get my swatches. They're right here. Okay. Don't need to see all that. So where is it? So this one, what this one looks like was just. Oh, that's perfect. It's very thick. Let's see if I can. There we go. I can see all the mylar pieces in there. And they've got pretty much the colors of the the cream polishes that comes in this collection. But here is the swatch of ocean. She's beautiful. And I do use her for one nail in this design. And then, of course, purple. You know, if you've been here long enough, your girl's a purple girl. So this one is the Persian Sea. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. It's almost the same color as my gloves, but it's more pastel. I love it. And of course, Madame Glam, fantastic products. <coughs> Excuse me. Super easy. You only need super easy to apply. They self level very well. No brush strokes. One coat. You only need one coat of this brand and it's opaque enough to cover the nail. I always do two coat swatches, that's just me. So here, oh, let's not move the camera. There's the mat. Do we have a white piece here? Let's use this. There's the mat and the glossy. She's beautiful. I love it. And then I got the yellow, which is honeycomb. Even this, one coat. Perfect name for the perfect yellow color, honeycomb. Here's the swatch. Let's use this again here. See? You'll notice I hit my camera a lot. I'm trying to find the perfect light so that I don't have to hit the camera. There is the matte and the glossy. 
anybody. As you notice here, I am me. I don't try to be anybody else then. I just, you know, I I like real creators. Creators that are real and they just themselves. So I, that's what I, that's what I, who I am and aspire to be. Okay, oh look, no, that's not even. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's neat. Ha, huh. okay. Then we got the blue one, which is Blue Jay. So like some nice blueberry for me, like a, Blue Jay, it's a blueberry Blue Jay. Oh, let's use this again. It's a Band-Aid. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Yes. And then here is the swatch of Blue Jay. There's the mat, the velvet mat, the best mat that I've used so far out of all the brands I've tried. And then the glossy. And then last but not least, I got Rainforest. As soon as I saw these colors, I knew what I was going to do for the design and for others. I'm so excited to use these for spring. Nails here. There we go. Isn't it gorgeous? Might be the Rainforest. From British Columbia, which is pretty much a rainforest. It's humid, it's green, it's beautiful, but not too hot. I miss home. And here is the swatch. There's the green, or the matte. It's green. Mm -hmm. Lisa, the matte and the glossy. Excellent. Just fix that. Oh, look at the magic of TV. So quickly, this is what I create. If you'd like to see how I get there, hang tight, and keep on watching. We're gonna get into it right now. Okay, so I've already painted the nail with the top coat. Isn't it beautiful? The shine, the mylar inside of it. So what we are going to do is use this little bunny bum, <laughs> and we are going to reverse stamp it. So we are going to do black for the outline, we're going to get that onto our stamper, like so. Always rock. And then we are going to take the, I can't, the recording box is in the way, but it's the paws off. Because we're going to do them pink instead of leaving them black. So here I'm just removing the paws. And you just use the tip of the, for me, even if it's dry or not, for me at least, I use the tip of the scraper and it just comes right off. You just like touch it and it'll come off the stamper, the pieces that you want to move. So you just take them off. And then we are going to take white stamping polish and I'm going to use a daughter. I found this easier than a brush. Brushes have bristles that can grab the other part that's already on there that you're trying to cover up and then it'll just make a mess and you got to restart all over again. So I just take a dotting tool with the stamping polish and you just dot it on there pretty much. You don't drag, you just kind of go and go and move. Very easy to do reverse stamping this way. Again, this is how I do it. It works for me. I also stamp on a sticky base because I have heard people use matte top coat. Top coats don't have a base and even the mats it doesn't stick. So I don't, I mean, hey, I don't know how people do it. They got magic fingers, but I do it with a sticky base. So for the top coat, what you will not see is I will put a base down and cure it over top of the top coat after buffing the top coat. I'll put the base coat down so then, oh, here, here, we are doing the pink. So we're doing the pink, and I kind of just try and get the least amount I can. So then I pull it up onto my ice cube stamper, and here I am taking everything off but the feet. Or with paws, pads, paw pads, toe beans? Toe beans, that's what I was trying to figure out before. Toe beans! So I am taking everything off, leaving the toe beans. So now I've got my base sticky on there. Here I am placing the body bum. Look how perfect it is. There we go. She's stuck on there. <laughs> and then I will grab my toe beans. And I will put my toe beans on there. Now you can use normal nail polish for this. It just takes a little longer to dry. So that's why I used um, 
stamping polish to reverse just for this little image, depending on what you're doing or what colors you have. Regular polish, you just let sit on the stamper and dry. There we go. And then I will come back and I've added the Happy Easter on there as well. There's my little bunny tail. So I've got my McCart rhinestone gel. That stuff is the best. It will hang on to anything. So I'm putting a wee dot on, on where the black tail part is. And then I'm going to grab my little white fluff ball and I'm going to put it on. Now I realized I needed to use my hand light. So I have it in my mouth here. And then I am going to flash cure holding it so it covers the black. I've got the light in my mouth, of course. Once it's enough and it's covered the black, I will then take it and I will then just stick it in the normal light and full cure it. And here it is, full cured bunny little tail. I think it's adorable. I had this idea and it was really perfect and I'm so glad it turned out this well. All right, everybody. So I didn't... I didn't record me doing these last four as I was in the middle of mom things. And so I was momming and creating. So I just thought, you know, this is okay. As long as I show you these th really cool nails. Okay. So this is done with all five of the April collection that I got from Madame Lamb. This one, of course, is a little bunny bum. <laughs> Look at the little tail. Isn't it cute? I think it's super cute. And then these are just eggs. So I just turn the nails upside down and, well, not upside down because they go on like this, but I don't know. Yeah, I just made them look like eggs. I had so much fun doing it. Of course, they're matte. And just, I just think they look really neat. I do wish I'd gotten the PG one, which I might still get. I'm not exactly sure though, but this top coat is fantastic. Look at all the sparkles in there. Let's see if I can get close. That says happy Easter. I know Easter was at the end of March, but for me, it's always April and I want to still do them. Oh, I love it. I hope that you and enjoy seeing these my little nail designs. They're simple. They're just eggs. Easy to do. Hope it inspired somebody to try something new. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.